back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today is day three of our cruise here on the Holland America Konings Dam. Now we are heading towards Juneau. So we are expected to arrive into Juneau this afternoon at around 1.30 p.m. So yeah, just we were kind of cruising up this inlet towards Juneau and it was just such an amazing morning. We do have the Holland America Euro Dam following us. Uh, so I did catch that on Cruise Mapper this morning. And obviously I did have my in-room breakfast this morning, um, which is nice and light. I kind of enjoy that. Uh, and then obviously because you get your coffee in your room, um, it's a great way to enjoy this beautiful scenery that we have as we are sailing by. Uh, we did change our clocks back one hour last night, uh, so we did get a little bit more sleep, which was nice. I still woke up very early this morning. Uh, I did wake up around 5.30 this morning, uh, Juno time, so enough time to kind of catch some of the... I did see a seal this morning, so I'll insert that photo here because um, that was the only wildlife I have seen uh, today thus far. So hopefully we get to see some whales a little bit later. And uh, yeah, it is now um, quarter after eight. So I have been up for a little while now. And it is time to go and get a light breakfast at the main dining room this morning. So let's go check that out. As I pressed the stop record button on my camera, I saw outside some splashing and saw there was a pod of porpoises followed by some humpback whales. Instead of going down for breakfast, I spent the next hour out on my balcony watching the whales. It was then time for a late breakfast at the main dining room. We snuck in just as they were about to close. The breakfast menu at the main dining room on Holland America is actually really good. There are so many dishes to choose from. Again, the portion sizes aren't huge, so you can build your own breakfast with a couple items easy enough. I ordered an Eggs Benedict with a side of a hash brown and corned beef hash, which I really enjoyed.
We had stopped at this point to let those off who had booked on a shore excursion to see Tracy Arm Fjord. I have seen it on a previous cruise a few years ago, however I highly suggest taking this shore excursion to see the Sar Glacier up the very scenic Tracy Arm Fjord if you haven't before. Those of us who didn't book the shore excursion continued on towards Juno on our ship. It really was such a beautiful day. The very aft of the ship near the sea view pool on deck 9 of the Koningsdam is a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery of Alaska. If you're looking for a more forward-facing option for sail into Juneau, definitely check out the Crow's Nest on Deck 12 of the Koningsdam, but try to come early as the best seats obviously fill quite quickly. It was then time for lunch. I tried the dive-in, which the burgers here are made fresh to order along the fries. It was really good, probably the best burger I've had at sea so far. I will say that Holland America has great docking privileges here in Alaska and of course in Juneau. We were docked at the pier that was closest to the city. Some docks you actually do need to take a shuttle service to get into town here. So as we were waiting for our ship to be cleared, I walked around some of the upper deck areas. As we were leaving the ship to go ashore and explore Juno, I was mauled by a bear. to eat a local style lunch in Juneau, be sure to check out Tracy's King Crab Shack. It's been a staple here in Juneau for years. They boil up fresh crab legs throughout the day. My colleague and I were off to the Gold Belt Tram, or formerly known as the Mount Roberts Tram. As of the time of our sailing in May 2022, tickets were $45 US each for adults and $30 US each for children's ages 3 to 12. It's about a 7 minute ride to the top and is fully narrated over the sound system within the tram. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway here in southeast Alaska. Gold Belt Tramway is often operated by Gold Belt Air. 
which is a local Alaska Native corporation. We were built on August 10, 1996. We will be passing through an Alaska temperate rainforest, which averages 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. Some of the trees you may notice are the western hemlock, the Sitka spruce, and red oak. The Sitka spruce gets its name from a Clinket Island. If you come to Juneau, Alaska and it's a clear day, the views from the top are stunning. They do also have a cafe, shop, and theater as well here on the top, along with some hiking trails. However, the trails looked a bit too muddy and still a bit snowy for us when we visited. My next travel tip for Juneau, Alaska is to check out the Mendenhall Glacier. I didn't visit on this particular trip, however, I've been here on three of my past cruises and enjoy coming here when I do. There is a great walk you can do out towards Nugget Falls, which I really recommend. A round trip shuttle service here will be about 45 US dollars per person, which you can book at a shore excursion kiosk off the ship. The next place I recommend checking out is the Red Dog Saloon near the cruise ship docks in Juneau. It was then time to head back on board and have an afternoon snack at the New York Deli and Pizza. I then headed back to my stateroom to get a little bit of work done and enjoyed the views from my balcony while catching up on emails. Afterwards, I headed up to the sea view pool for a swim and had it pretty well all to myself. After a couple hours of relaxing by the pool, it was time to get changed and head back down to the dining room on the Koningsdam for dinner. I 
had the arancini pomodoro as my starter followed by the orchietti with eggplant and pork ragu and i finished off dinner with the red velvet cake I then headed back to my veranda stateroom to relax and enjoy the rest of the evening enjoying the sunset on my balcony. As a luxury travel advisor, my clients typically receive added benefits when booking vacations, hotel stays, and cruises through me. I'd love to work with you as your travel advisor if you don't already have one. You can contact me using the link in the description box down below. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode here at Juneau in Alaska. We are definitely kind of in the land of the midnight sun now. So I really hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks of things you need to do and see here in Juneau, Alaska. If you do have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments box down below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them as I can. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please give it a thumbs up as it does help support my channel. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as our next episode, I'm actually going to be in Skagway, Alaska tomorrow. So I am so excited to show you guys what Skagway is all about. And yeah, it's uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to actually go out onto my balcony and enjoy the rest of the sunset because it was actually quite hot earlier today so now that it's cooled down um, it's just gonna be a really pretty sail away so we are going to all aboard it was at 9 30 tonight uh, so I am assuming we will be sailing away by 10 o'clock um, so yeah it's gonna be a beautiful golden hour here. It's quite golden as we speak. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!